We want to set up an integral here to find this red shaded area, the area bounded by the line y equals cosine x, or the curve y equals cosine x here. And these lines coming out of the origin and touching the curve at the points pi over 6 root 3 over 2 and pi over 4 root 2 over 2. Now you may notice here that no matter whether we slice this horizontally or vertically, right, horizontally or vertically, uh, we're going to have to set this up as two separate integrals, because here, vertically, we're between the line and the line. Here, we're between the cosine function and the line. Uh, horizontally, here, we're between cosine function and line. Here, we're between line and line. So we really don't have a choice here. We're going to have to use two integrals. So because we already have a y equals cosine x, you know, y equals type function, it probably makes sense to slice this uh, vertically, where we're going to have to really do this as two separate pieces here, right? Uh, on this left piece, our vertical slices will touch the, the, this line on the top and this other line on the bottom. Over on this part, our vertical slices will touch the cosine function on the top and this, this line on the bottom. Either way, we're going to need the equations of these lines, so let's go ahead and find them. So for this first line, uh, we can start by finding the slope. We know two points, so we can find the rise, the difference of the y values, and divide it by the difference of the x values there. Do a quick uh, invert and multiply, and we got 3 root 3 over pi as the slope. Now, uh, because it crosses through the origin, we know then that the equation of that line will be y equals the slope times x plus 0, uh, because the y-intercept is 0. So for our second line, we can do the same basic thing. We got root 2 over 2 as the increase of y, and pi over 4 as the change of x. Again, invert and multiply, and we got 2 root 2 over pi as the slope, and that gives us y equals 2 root 2 over pi x as the equation of that second line. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up our integrals. So for the first integral on the left, on the top we have our first line, so we have 3 root 3 over pi x on the top, and on the bottom we have our second line, 2 root 2 over pi x. And so the difference between those y values gives me the height, and then dx is my little width. And then we're integrating that from, from 0 here up, into, up to this x value, which is pi over 6, right? So we're integrating from 0 to pi over 6. For our second piece, uh, we are integrating with, on the top, is the cosine function. And on the bottom is the second line, the 2 root 2 over pi x line. So the difference between those functions gives me the height of my slice, dx is the little width of my slice, and we're integrating that one from the pi over 6 where we stopped the last one up to here, which is an x value of pi over 4. And so there is the setup to find the area of that region.